So the first segment of the video will deal with the interference signaling molecule, the interference signaling receptor and the other properties of interference signaling pathway. And the second segment of this lecture is going to deal with the interferon signaling animation, be it interferon gamma, interferon delta and so many different types. Let's begin to talk about the interference signaling pathway. Particularly, we'll talk about the interferon gamma signaling. So what is interferon gamma signaling? Interferon gamma signaling is primarily associated with inflammation and cell-mediated immune responses. Interferon gamma is also represented as anti-tumor cytokine, which facilitates immunosurveillance in tumor cells. In addition, interferon gamma-mediated signaling also elicits pro-tumorogenic transformations and promotes tumor progression in the body. So obviously, the interferon gamma is an important pathway which can lead to a normal cell trans transformation to cancer. The signaling molecule for interferon gamma is interferon gamma itself. Production is controlled by cytokines secreted by APCs or antigen presenting cells, most notably interleukin-12 and interleukin-18. The receptor is interferon gamma receptor or IFN gamma R which is expressed in all nucleated cells as a tetramer composed of two interferon gamma R1 and two interferon gamma R2 subunits. Why do you use interferon gamma signaling? The interferon or IFN pathway plays a critical role in human immune response. Following a viral infection, the human body triggers a complex regulatory system of innate and adaptive immune responses designed to defend against the virus and interferon required to do that. Other pathways this interferon gamma pathway is related to is JAK-STAT pathway, which is also linked to the interleukin receptors in the cell surface. The transcription factors used in interferon gamma signaling inside a cell is known as STATs, known as STAT short form STAT. The full form is signal transducer and activator of transcription. Now let's move to the interferon gamma signaling pathway animation. So here we'll be talking about three types of interferon receptor. In this picture, you can see a nucleus and inside the nucleus, you can see the DNA where specific elements ISRE and GAS are indicated. Now both this target regions of the DNA are the target site for the activators and transcription factors which will be activated due to the signaling of interferon and interferon receptor. So in the cell membrane, we have type 1 interferon receptor, we have type 2 interferon receptor, and we have type 3 interferon receptor. The type 1 interferon receptor gets activated by interferon alpha, beta, delta, epsilon, omega, and so many different types. While type 2 gets activated by interferon gamma, and type 3 gets activated by interferon lambda. Now the process of their activation is little different. Let's talk about the type 1 interferon. We have combination of JAK and STAT proteins. JAK Janus kinase and STAT. JAK1 and STAT1. TYK2 and STAT2. This structures, this activators in the cytosolic domain upon binding of interferon alpha, beta, all this to the receptor gets activated and go interact to the cytosolic domain to the type 1 interferon receptor. And upon binding, it provides a signal to activate IRF9. IRF9 once active, IRF9 is going to further phosphatize or add phosphate group to the STAT1 and STAT2 dimer. So STAT1, STAT2 dimer once phosphorylated by IRF9, they are further going to associate themselves with IRF9. So IRF9 once associate with the STAT1, STAT2 which gets phosphorylated due to the binding of interferon alpha, beta, kappa, delta, all these signaling molecules to the receptor. And now the complex of IRF9 with STAT1, STAT2 phosphorylation formed known as ISGF3. This ISGF3 can now go inside the nucleus and interact to the ISRE or IS response elements. And then they are going to turn on the ISGs, a particular transcription of target genes which will lead to the cellular growth and proliferation. On the other hand, 
Let's look at the type 2 interferon gamma receptor. And in this case also you will see the binding of interferon gamma in green color to the receptor. And upon binding from cytosol, JAK1 STAT1, JAK2 STAT1, this combination they are going to associate to the cytosolic site of interferon type 2 interferon receptor or interferon gamma receptor. And then it's going to again phosphorylate STAT1 dimer which is a homodimer of STAT1. Now this homodimer of STAT1 gets phosphorylated. This phosphorylated form of STAT1 homodimer is going to go inside the nucleus and interact to the GAS element which in turn again turn on the transcription of ISGs. Again target achieved. Now the third one or type 3 interferon receptor. For that once the interferon lambda binds to the receptor which is blue color in this particular animation. Then cytosolic site we have JAK1, STAT1 and TYK2 and STAT2. The same kind of receptor response cytosolic element like type 1 interferon receptor will go and associate themselves to type 3 interferon receptor. And then they are going to similarly signal and activate IRF9. Now IRF9 again uh, is going to activate associate with STAT1 and STAT2 and form ISGF3. And remember ISGF3 means we have IRF9, STAT1 and STAT2 phosphorylated. Then this ISGF3 will further can go inside the nucleus. On the other hand, this interferon lambda binding to the type 3 interferon receptor is going to also activate and phosphorylate STAT1 homodimer. So phosphorylation of STAT1 homodimer and the activation of ISGF3 means the ISGF3 can activate the ISRE and ISG's target can be achieved. On the other hand, STAT1 homodimer phosphorylated condition will also going to activate specific genes in the nucleus, ISG's target achieved. So basically the type 3 interferon receptor which is a interferon lambda receptor can activate specific target genes including the pathway followed by type 1 interferon gamma receptor, type 1 interferon receptor and type 2 interferon receptor. So that's all about the interferon receptor or interferon gamma signaling pathway. If you like interferon signaling or interferon gamma signaling pathway, please hit the like button, share this video with your friends and subscribe to this channel to get more videos like that in future. Thank you.